Do you even quarantine, bro? Hey guys, what's going on? Brian here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're I'm going to be showing you how to set up this quarantine tank and some items that you can use. First off, the main reason why we quarantine fish is so that they don't infect your whole display and making it a disaster to having to keep taking apart your tank to catch the fish, to get all the fish out so that the parasites are no longer in the main tank. And that way it's all contained in this quarantine tank and then you're treating it to kill off the parasites, the bacteria, all the infections, to give you a healthy, nice fish to put back in your main tank. Unless you're getting fish from a source that you know that quarantines or fully quarantines their fish before shipping them out, I highly, highly recommend that anytime you get a new fish, no matter where you got it from, just to throw up an extra tank, hospital tank like so, and treat it accordingly. Or what you can do in the first stages is you can Keep an eyeball on it and if it starts to develop any type of sores or infection or you see parasites hanging off of it, that's when you can go ahead and do the treatment. Alright, so jumping into the tank, all you need is something nice and simple. I was able to pick this one up locally. It's an older version of an all-in-one tank, but what you can use is a 20 gallon long or a 40 gallon breeder depending on how many fish you're going to put in there and it helps to alleviate aggression to get a bigger tank if there's many fish in there. So of course you wanna have some type of wave maker, have some good flow going on in there. And you also want to provide nice hidey holes for the fish to also alleviate aggression and to help make them feel secure. So what I did, I picked up a few of these PVC pipe and tees so that they have a place to hide. And also what's very important to add while you're doing medical treatments is to add an air stone, air pump, because a lot of the medications will deplete the oxygen in the water and that will put it right back in. So this is essentially the same as like a hang on back filter, but it's all in one. So all I have in there is a filter pad to catch all the organics and nothing else. Now another question that people ask, do you have to cycle a quarantine tank? So when you first set it up, it's wise to do it a few days ahead of time before you know you're gonna get fish. So then you can put some live rock in there, bacteria and so forth to get it kind of ready to get the fish in there. But just know that once you start adding medications such as copper-based medications that it's time to remove that biological media because that rock will soak up all the copper and then if you go to use it later on, it's going to leach it right back out. I didn't even do that. I just added bacteria into this tank a few days prior to putting fish in here. The medication also kills the beneficial bacteria as you're treating. So this fish I've named Penelope, and it's a two spot bristle tooth tang. Now this one developed really, really bad large sized flukes, and now they're completely gone. The treatment worked fish has been in here for at least three months. Now jumping into the type of medications. So I used Furin 2, which helps treat the bacterial diseases on fish. Now this one, just know that it will discolor the water a bit and turn it kind of yellowish. So at the end of the treatment, I used activated carbon to help clear out the water. And also at the end of every treatment, I do almost a 100% water change. Now Prozzi Pro is really good at killing parasites. This is actually how I treated this tang that's in the tank right now. It completely killed all of the flukes. Now there's also another combination that you can use is Metroplex and Focus. What Focus does, it helps bind the medication to food so then you can get the medication on the food to treat for any type of internal parasites, such as if you see your fish having white stringy poo, it could be an internal parasite. So what you wanna do is mix up some Focus and Metroplex or API General Cure has a little bit of both and it helps bind the medication to it so that the fish will actually ingest the medication and treat itself on the inside. Now there are also herbal type Medications you can use such as this Milifix or the Herptana from Microlift. Uh, this really does help the fish in its slime coat. And what that does is it boosts the slime coat so then the fish can repel the parasites. 
So of course you can always use copper based treatments, but I did not and I kind of don't like it because it's very harsh in the fish and you have to do it super carefully and I just, I, I personally don't like it and I've heard that you can lose fish a lot easier, but a lot of people have had success with copper based medications. So by all means, you can use something like copper safe and treat your fish that way. I'm just showing what I used and what worked for me. This tang was absolutely covered in big dots, the flukes. It was, it was super big and nasty. And now it's completely clear, ready to go into the cade. Well guys, this just goes to show that you really don't have to think too much into setting up a quarantine tank. It's super simple and super easy. Just something as simple as this or getting yourself a 20 gallon long 40 breeder and putting on a hang on back filter and treating accordingly. My recommendation is quarantine. Definitely do the period of watching the fish to make sure they don't redevelop any type of parasite or if you get new fish, it's definitely good to put them in a separate tank separate water to keep an eyeball on them because you never know they can just abrupt into parasites and next you know you're chasing fish in your main display and your whole display is infected and you don't want that so take the extra steps quarantine do your due diligence hey guys if you learned something and you liking what you're seeing give me that thumbs up give me the like help me with that youtube algorithm and subscribe selfish tv ow I almost forgot if you quarantine fish what do you do what's your process you know there's more than one way to skin a cat right let me know drop that comment down below